Tesla hopes the battery will be the first step to Australia becoming a renewable energy powerhouse and put an end to power outages. Tesla has turned on the 100-megawatt lithium-ion battery, which is more than three times larger than any existing power storage facility. The battery was built at a wind farm operated by Francis Nguyen that is located about 225 kilometers, 141 miles, from the South Australian capital of Adelaide and will supply power to the lithium-ion storage cells. Last year's statewide blackout was blamed by opponents of renewable energy on the state's rush to embrace wind and solar and fueled a backlash that has split Australia's conservative federal government and led to renewed calls to support coal-fired power. Speaking at the official launch at the Hornsdale Wind Farm, Premier Jay Weatherill said, South Australia is now leading the world in dispatchable renewable energy, delivered to homes and businesses 24-7. He added, this is history in the making. Tesla won a bid in July to build the battery for South Australia, the country's most wind-powered dependent state. must vow to install it within 100 days of signing a grid connection agreement or give it to the state for free. When the grid connection deal was signed on September 29, Tesla was already halfway through installing the battery packs. Finishing last week meant that the firm took just 55 days to complete the batteries. The state has yet to say how much it paid for the battery which is part of a £293 million, pound, $390 million plan that includes diesel-fired generators to help keep the lights on following a string of blackouts over the past 18 months. While South Australia hopes the Tesla battery will forestall further blackouts, not everyone is behind the project. Scott Morrison, Australia's treasurer, said, by all means, have the world's biggest battery, have the world's biggest banana, have the world's biggest prom like we have on the roadside around the country, but that is not solving the problem. Thirty thousand SA households could not get through watching one episode of Australia's Ninja Warrior with this big battery, so let's not pretend it is a solution. Analysts have estimated the battery should cost around seven hundred fifty dollars, US five hundred eighty-five dollar four hundred thirty-nine pounds, to nine hundred fifty dollars, US seven hundred forty-one dollar five hundred fifty-six pounds per kilowatt, of up to ninety-five million dollars, US seventy-four million dollar fifty-six million pounds. Musk said in July the cost to Tesla would be $50 million US $39 million 29 million pounds or more if it failed to deliver the project on time, 